Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into the upset. Eric Robles upsets Lee McGregor in Scotland and Edinburgh in front of his hometown fans. Uh, really good upset for Eric Robles in a terrific little fight. Uh, before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day. Twice uh, Every day, we're going to come out twice today. Um, we're going to have another show later today. Might be after midnight, uh, so it might technically be tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have two shows. Um, and also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Um, so we do have a candidate for of the year. We have a candidate uh, the 10th round for round of the year. Uh, I don't really know what to say. Um, Lee McGregor was someone I was high on. I thought... His one draw was bogus. I thought he won that fight. I thought he clearly won that fight. And I, I think the judges got it right. Uh, the judges had it 116-113, uh, which means it was a 10-10 round, and then 115-113 uh, twice. I had it 115-113, so we're, we're all pretty much in line. Um, you know, I was watching the fight, and my buddy UK Rob texted me. He said, ready for a, a, a bogus hometown decision. I said, yep, I'm ready. And we didn't get it. The judges got this exactly right. The judges got this exactly right, which is which is good to see. Um, really, really good to see. Um, this was a nonstop fight. Um, I, you know, Lee McGregor is going to fight. Lee McGregor is going to fight. And Robles was able to suck him in to, to fight, uh, fight exactly on his terms. Like, Robles couldn't have chalked it up any better. I'm going to have McGregor fight in the phone booth with me for three minutes around for 12 rounds. And McGregor... Fought valiantly, fought hard, really entertaining fight, but played along, fought into Robles' hands. Um, I think McGregor's the better fighter, but he didn't fight his fight. He fought Robles' fight, and Robles is a good enough fighter. Where if you fight his fight, well, it's just going to happen. Um, you know, I, I think in a re I, I don't know. We're going to have to see. Maybe McGregor can't say no to a fight, right? Maybe he can't, right? I thought when McGregor was on the outside uh, picking his shots, delivering uh, the, the left hook from range, uh, scoring with right hand. Um, I thought he was doing well. I thought that he was winning when he did that. Um, but um, Robles was just bringing the action, bringing the pace to him. And McGregor didn't tie up, you know, at all. And he fought. And he fought in the phone booth, which was not his best fight. It was um, Robles' best fight. And Robles won. Although McGregor had a ton of success with the uppercut. Like, uh, this was a close fight. Like There were so many difficult rounds to score. Uh, that's why if they did score it for McGregor, I wouldn't have been totally upset about it, although I did, I do think Robles won. There were so many close rounds of that you could have flipped. Uh, McGregor had success. Like He landed the cleaner, better shots, I thought. It's just that the Robles' pace and his and, and his punch output, like he was outlanding them. You know, he was throwing these combinations. Uh, he, would put, he, he would sustain combinations, sustain rallies where – you know, McGregor at times was just picking one shot at a time, and they were landing, and he's landing clean. Like, Robles was not hard to hit. Robles was there to be hit, obviously, and McGregor was hitting him. But he was getting outworked. Like, he was getting outworked, and he's getting outlanded. And, and um, you know, I, I saw Robles hurt a couple times. I thought uh, that one time later in the fight, I, I thought um, McGregor w w was was hurt um, when – you know, he, he was just standing there, and uh, Robles probably at least 15 shots on him. Uh, Robles doesn't seem to be the biggest puncher in the world. He seems not to have, you know, very heavy hands. Uh, but it was the culmination, and uh, it, it was the endurance. And it, it, it looked like after about the third or fourth round, uh, Robles was going to fade. Um, and I thought in the fourth round on, fourth, fifth, and sixth, um, I, I thought um, – McGregor was going to seize control of the fight. And I thought that, you know, okay, McGregor starts slow, um, but McGregor's got it going now. Um, and, you know, he's going to take control of a, of a fun fight, but he's going to control it. 
that's not what happened. In the seventh round, uh, Robles came back, had a really, really good round. Robles, a southpaw from Mexico. If you don't have to fight a Mexican, don't. If you don't have to fight a southpaw, don't. I would chalk this up to bad matchmaking by Washington. Um, I said the same thing one of the, the prelim fights with uh, the, with, with one of their uh, prospects who fought uh, Sharp, Nathan Sharp, in, in, in his pro debut. It's poor matchmaking. Um I, I think it was poor matchmaking, but I, I thought the judges got this right. Ultimately, um, I, I still think McGregor's good. I just think he, he has to fight a smarter fight. He has to fight more of a fight in line with his skill set, not fight exactly the fight Robles wants on his terms. Because Robles, Robles was dictating the pace, like Robles was dictating the pace, and you know this is something that keeps happening. Uh, these Mexican fighters, and I know he's from Scotland, he's not from England, but Mexican fighters keep. Um, upsetting these UK fighters. It, it keeps happening. Um, and, and Robles doesn't really fight into what I think. I mean, um, McGregor doesn't really fight into the textbook of what I think, you know, the stereotype of an English fighter who boxes on the outside, skills not overly athletic, not overly powerful, right? Uh, but, you know, good skills, fundamentally sound, uh, but nothing next level, and he's just looking to score points. And that's not really McGregor. Uh, McGregor's a, a more aggressive. He's more seek and destroy, right? He likes. He, he's got a really good knockout ratio. He, he flattens people. He, he, you know, he flatlines people. Um, oops, sorry about that. He flatlines people. He's aggressive. He steps on the gas and finishes people. So he's not typical of of, of, of the UK fighters who've been getting upset by these Mexican fighters. Um, Robles isn't standard either in the sense that I don't really think he's got much pop. I know his knockout ratio, uh, you know, coming into the fight, he had nine knockouts in his 13 wins. He had just one loss. Um, he got stopped uh, in the second round uh, back in 2020. Good fighter, um, 23 years old. I think we're going to see him again. I don't know what his ceiling is. I would honestly like to see a rematch, and I would probably favor McGregor in a rematch. I think McGregor. Yeah, you know, Robles did everything perfect. Robles won the fight, and he fought a perfect fight. He did everything he had to do, and it, and it was just enough to win the fight. I, I think McGregor can adjust more. I think he can adapt more. I think he can say, okay, look, I can't fight him. There are times where I'm going to fight him in a phone booth, but I can't. That, that can't be the entire game plan. That can't be three minutes around for 12 rounds. That can't be it, right? So I got to get, get on the outside. I need to use my jab. I can't get into this firefight where he's throwing 80 punches around and winning on volume. I got to slow the pace down. I got to nail him with right hands. I got to hit him with my left hook, control him with the jab. I got to jab more, but I got to keep him on the outside to do that. Right? I can't just – and on the inside, I am going to have to tie up. So there's more things. There's more things that McGregor can do uh, to win a rematch where Robles would just have to re repeat this performance. And maybe he can. Maybe he can. It's just if, if I was a betting man, which I'm not – I would say I, I think McGregor can adjust. I think if, go back, watch the tape, reassess, check your ego. I think McGregor can do more things to get this right um, than Robles, who just has to repeat the same thing, right? How would Robles win a rematch? He'd have to do exactly what he did today. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minute today to keep you up to date on the latest greatest boxing news and rumors i said we'll be back later today with another show uh it is july 21st 2023 uh from texas to the world uh thank you and God. don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook hit the subscribe